So first up in the book club, we have If I Was Your Girl by Meredith Russo. I will read you the back. It says, Amanda Hardy is the new girl at school. Like everyone else, all she wants is to make friends and fit in. But Amanda is holding back, even from Grant, the guy she's falling in love with. Amanda has a secret. At her old school, she used to be called Andrew, and secrets always have a way of getting out. So this book is about a trans girl called Amanda who has lots of different trials and tribulations with friends, school, and love. I didn't really know what to expect from this book. However, I feel like out of all eight that I have picked, this is one of the most important. I have never read a book with a trans character ever. So to have a story to read um, was so insightful for me. I found it so powerful and poignant. I feel like it taught me a lot more about the LGBTQ plus community. It was so eye-opening and thought-provoking at the same time. One of the underlying features of this book, besides the fact that Amanda is a trans girl, is a very key, strong message about being true to yourself. And I think this is so important for young adults and teenagers these days because in a world where everything can feel a little bit pressuring and daunting and you feel as though you have to be a certain way or do a certain thing how you think someone would want you to do it. I absolutely love that she was tackling that head on and I think that that's one of the really lovely key messages in this book. I feel like alongside the fact that this goes into a little bit more detail on Amanda transitioning, it's also really a story about her transitioning in more of a life sense. It's almost like you see her become this brave, courageous woman and it's such a lovely thing to read. It was one of those kind of pulling on your heartstrings, powerful, poignant books that I honestly think once you finish reading you should pass on to like everyone else to read. I absolutely fell in love with Amanda as a character and I was really sad when the book ended because I wanted to know I wanted to know how the rest of her life went and it was it was weird because I really felt such a strong connection to her because you're just rooting for her the whole way through. I honestly just think this book will change a lot of people's lives. If I had to ask Meredith one question, I would ask her which character was the hardest to write about. I always feel like it's one of those things that you always love the characters that were the easiest to write and like your favourite characters but I would absolutely love to know which one she found the hardest to write about. So a couple of my favourite quotes from the book which I was trying to narrow down to one but I found that extremely difficult so I've got two for this one just because there are so many amazing kind of life quotes in here that people can take away from this book and really kind of live by and, and I think would actually make a difference. Hell, even the straight people have enough skeletons in their closet to fill a tomb. Everybody's too afraid of going to hell or getting made fun of to be honest about what they want and who they are, so they can't even really admit what they want to themselves. And the second one that I also really love is, for as long as I could remember, I had been apologizing for existing, for trying to be who I was, to live the life I was meant to lead. And I think that's a really nice place to end it on because there are so many things you can take away from this book and they're all really positive and really motivational and really inspiring. I think that's one of the main things I found about this book is how inspiring Amanda was as a character. And I just recommend you all to read this book. It's, it's amazing.